Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again and this time we get to play as the Punished. This character is a character that can't shoot. A character that is essentially entirely based on the items that the item that shows the cracks on the floor as you can see here. Um, oh god. Oh I wasn't ready for that at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a bunch of different diff uh, things that this character can do. I'll be honest, it's been a little, uh, like, it's been a hot minute since I played as this guy. So I don't remember him super, super well. Um, but we'll try our best and see what we can get going on. But we'll open this up and see. We got a shop disc. Shop disc probably isn't the best, actually. Uh, we got birthright, which is good for a little bit, I guess. Um, I do not mind a birthright. But yeah, so we've got the, we've got the little ghosty boy here to help us shoot if we need to shoot. But... We want to be using the cracks on the floor. And I believe tier rate increases the amount of cracks. I can't remember what liberation does. I'm going to go and check, actually. One second. Okay, it didn't give me specifics, but it says that it's a way to... Ooh, this is a very good item for us right now. Um, it said that it's a good way to master both exploration and combat. So we want to be using it in a few different scenarios. So let's, let's use it in our next combat room and see what happens. So I used it here and it didn't do anything. Um... It's charged. It charged up before we exited the room, though. So, I'm, I'll be curious to find out. People can let me know as well uh, how how exactly it works. Then I can try and get a little bit better at using it. It seems to be when I deal damage to enemies, it charges. Whoa! Those guys dropped some tears when they died as well. Hopefully, we can get a little bit more money on this floor. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly how this works. Yeah, things like destroying poops here. What? Kill you. I think... It, does it increase the amount of cracks I can get on the floor, maybe? Like I said, I'm not 100% sure. It also said that I can... Okay, I can, it, it's decharged in this room here now. In the rooms that we've already been to. It said about exploration, so it's going to probably take a little bit of working out on how to, how to exactly utilize this thing to the fullest okay i see i see i see i see so i used it after hitting an enemy and it's given me flight for the room it's given me astral projection for the room i should say where's the next crack i don't see it there it is i got it i got it stop going for the flies please oh that was stupid it's okay though we didn't take the damage Hmm. Okay, there's the crack. Don't go for the flies this time. Go for him. I did get hit there, unfortunately, but not to worry. Uh, let's just use our blank rune now and see what we end up getting. We got a Yera, um, which gave us double blank rune. Degas is really nice, and Anzos is also pretty nice. We get double temperance here. We don't have any bombs, unfortunately, so we're not going to get too much use out of that. Um, I would like to bomb. Uh, I, I guess I'll check my shop real quick and see if there's much we can get out of that. There is a champion belt. There is also a soul heart. There's a lot of good stuff there. Let's try and uh, see if we can get anything good from the boss. Not exactly sure what we'd want in this situation. But I'll try it out nonetheless. Right. Put that there because um, he can walk into that and take some damage if we're lucky. Probably going to be kind of hard to make him walk into that, but... Oh, there you go. He used it. He only got one use out of it. I was hoping for a bit more than that, but... Not terrible. Right, he's almost dead. I should have got the mod that highlights the cracks on the floor, really. That would have helped a lot. Ball of bandages, which is unfortunately at a three heart cost, is not going to be great for us. Um, I think I am willing to trade away a little bit of HP to buy champion belt here. I know that that'll scale um because we do have another temperance machine as long as it doesn't break straight away which you know it will now that i've said it right one what did i say what did i say <sighs> i knew it was gonna happen I knew it was going to happen. Still, I'm not displeased, but would have liked to have gotten that. Uh, and I think ball of bandages, I don't really want. I'm going to take it anyways. Why not? Um, right. Let's go to the downpour here. 
I need to be using um, Liberation in more rooms. Because, it, it, like I said, it's decharging in certain situations. So I need to play around with it to figure out exactly how it works. I don't really remember. Um, so we do get Bookworm here. That's rather nice. So we can use it in this room. So let's see if it does anything here. It turned both of them into ghost bombs. Intriguing. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, that is not a good placement of our cracks there. Both of them are in terrible positions. But okay, there we go. Out of that scot free, pretty much. And we got the secret room as well. Let's quickly go and get out of the charge there. What a great active to get off the bat here. But yeah, getting the ability to get ghost bombs here. Although, I'm noticing that picking them up didn't actually give me any bombs, which is strange, right? That's, that's, that's very weird. Very weird indeed. Right, you two are taken care of. You're pissing in your, in your little bucket there. You're going down though, sir. You're going down. Boom, bap, boom, bap. As for the question of the day today, what is something unusual that you do on a daily basis? What is something that you think is weird that you do? Um, ah, God. For me, I, it's probably just talking to myself a bit. <laughs> I don't do it like a lot, but I, I do tend to talk to myself every now and again. Just because I'm in the house on, on my own all the time. And I'll just find myself kind of muttering away to myself, which isn't like super odd. I know a lot of people do do it, but still. That's a right random item. Then it's a random item effect for the current room. Oh, that's just metronome, okay. Uh, we'll take the other one then. Although, let's... Okay, so Liberation is just going to do that every time. Well, that, that time it did give us plus five bombs. So why didn't it last time? Unclear. Very unclear. I'm not exactly sure what caused that last time. We can use this. I opened the door here as well, look. Interesting. And the... Our thingy back... Oh, I see! When you're in this mode as well, the, the cracks spawn instantly. They don't take a little bit of time to spawn like they normally would. That's pretty interesting. Right. We get water tumors for this guy, I think. Just get another item that's going to cost and not actually be a devil deal, but... Again, I'll probably take it. I want to pop this, because it'll uh, speed up the creation of the cracks on the floor. I mean, we can deal damage quite a lot quicker. What a fun character. I think this character is probably one of my favourite design-wise. Just so different. Right, he's pretty much dead now. Oh no, Water Tumors doesn't cost. It's free. Good. Good, good, good. I'll take Water Tumors. Um... So what happens if we use Liberation in here? I took damage, I think, but nothing else. We can also use it in here. Um, I think I'm just going to take that. I think Gusty Bud is pretty darn good. Um, the Tears Up is going to be kind of interesting with this character. Also, I love the visual that it gives us. Right, let's quickly go back to our shop real quick over here. We've got a Spin Down Shard as well, so we'll try and find an appropriate place to use that. That could be kind of interesting. Um, we'll buy the soul heart, and we'll get out of here. So far, so good on this run, though. We got some interesting stuff going on. We have a hell of a lot of ghost bombs for some unknown reason. Probably secret room here. They could be quite useful, though, so I'm not going to diss. Um, two of swords, copy, spawn a copy of all dip familiars, um, ten all pickups, chests into blue flies and scuzzits. Three random pills. That is a golden horse pill. There's a helper. There's another helper. Okay. Lemon party. Estrogen up. Telepills. Telepills t teleported me into somewhere I don't really want to be, but hey her. Mitosis, have I grown up? Range down, pretty big range down. Although I don't think range down matters too much for this character. I'm not 100% sure, actually. 
boom, bap, boop, bap, boop. I have a feeling our vision is going to be like this for quite some time, so get used to it. <laughs> Anyways, down to the next floor. So far, so good. I like the fact that we've got ball of banditries and water tumors. I think they can be kind of good together if we play on them. Uh, try and use our glass spin down when we can. Rooms like this are going to be slightly problematic for this guy. Oh god, all the mini Isaacs are helping us out. That's pretty funny. We've also got the have I grown up doubled pills so that everything's tiny. Oh, we got five out of four there. What the hell? Oh, Gusty Blood was a very good pickup, I think. I think Gusty Blood is uh, is going to make our life a lot easier. Because every kill that we get, we increase the amount of cracks that can be on the floor in each room. Got another shop here. This one does have a good item, but we can't afford it right now. God damn, I have to get used to this retrovision. Retrovision did used to be different in AB Plus, if I remember correctly. I just can't remember how. I can't remember what, what, what was different about it. That's a glass D20. I thought it was a dice shard. God damn retrovision, you fooled me. How dare you? You fooled me. Lovely. There's a lot of rooms where I feel like we don't really need to use Liberation much. I wonder if it can turn things into things other than Ghost Bombs. Or if Ghost Bombs is like the only thing it can do. You can finally see again. Or at least see normally again, should I say. Health is still looking fantastic. Lovely. I did just realise we've got two clots as well. I don't know where we got them from. It was probably from the pills, right? Okay. Guys are getting pissy again. We do need quite a lot of enemies in the room to make a super big difference in terms of the amount of cracks we get per room. get ourselves Hermit, Judgment, Chariot. We got the Sanguine Hook. We, we don't know what this spins down into because the, the description is too long. So I'm just going to take the other item. Hey, Cupid's Arrow. I don't actually know what that does for us, but I know that this character does have some synergies with items, so there's a potential chance that Cupid's Arrow does do something for us. This guy does have quite a few different synergies. Sometimes enemies are dropping tears when they die. I'm not sure what's causing that. I like that. Insta-bomb right on top of them. These things can do so much damage. It's crazy. These ghosts. Let's pop in here real quick. And we'll pop Liberation as soon as it's ready. There you go. It's ready to go. We get the cracks going like crazy. Also, the extra movement speed bonus we get from Gusty Blood is, is really nice too. This might still hit us. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Hey, thank god he moved because he was sat right on top of the crack there. Bosses like this are definitely like the harder, the harder ones because we have to move around the room a lot and he can be in the way of where we need to be in order to deal damage sometimes. It's slightly problematic. Like right now he's just stood on top of the crack. But it does give us a sort of back and forth. Also, one thing I have to say about this character that I have to commend. You can play it one-handed. So cool. Right. I think two more ghosts and we're good. Ah, three more. There you go. Taken care of. And for that we get the devil's box, which I'll definitely use. Could take damage, could get Devil Deal items. I've literally never failed it, so 
Um, honestly, I think both of these we um, we spin down. Oh, it spin down this as well. I didn't mean for that. Balls. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Big whoops. I guess we have flush now. Shit. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Bollocks. <laughs> that was an error. Have I grown up? Have I grown up? I love that. That was... That was idiotic, but it's okay, because we got some good items, so I don't mind. Right, uh, secret rooms we've maybe checked for, at least a little bit. There's one. And the second one, I think, is next to the boss room, actually, which would be very, very nice. Just to the left here. Pretty sure it's here. <laughs> oh, it's not. It could be just here, also. Or it could be here? Ooh. Didn't think it was very likely it'd be here, but you never know sometimes. We get another spin down shard, which is pretty interesting. I quite like the glass spin down shards, they can be pretty darn useful, so good to see more of them. Um, and check out other secret room as well over here. But yeah, Flush isn't bad, it's just nowhere near as good of the, of the, as the Satanic Bible. The Satanic Bible would have been a lot better. Right, we'll go back down to the regular path now. I think we've got some good stuff going on. We still don't have anything really cool synergy-wise for this guy, but we're, we're, we're playing decently well. Um, my rooms like this, I'm just going to flush. Rooms like this, get the insta-flush. We, what we need is an actual fire rate increase. Which I think we I think we got with... Um, yeah, we got with water tumors, didn't we? But nothing else has it so far. A little careful here. Hey, the little purple wisps that we get around us, even though we're not doing much shooting, so they're not that great, they do protect us quite quite nicely. I like that a lot. And yeah, Flush is just good for rooms like this. It's just like, meh, this room was full of enemies. I don't know how many, but it's not anymore. <laughs> and I like that a lot. Yeah, also we have a situation where we're actually able to shoot at enemies here. Because <laughs> we have um, the clotties. They're doing good work for us. Pop this. And then just go, broom. Hellfire. Just nukes the entire room, I love it. Yeah, I really like, I really like uh, characters like the Punished, where it takes... It takes an, uh, like a bit of a different idea in the game, one that isn't really super super well utilized, and, and it takes that gimmick and rolls with it. I really respect the, the characters that do that. Um, I think we're going to Glass D6 this, and we, we just got the Zodiac, unfortunately. I was like, maybe then we can spin it down. I suppose we could have grabbed another Ghost Bombs there, because we, we are kind of running low on bombs, but... I don't know, maybe Zodiac will be of use to us. Also, there's a good thing about this character as well. He benefits from a lot of items that other characters don't. And I like I like stuff like that too. Where, kind of like Tainted Maggie, where Tainted Maggie gives a purpose for some items that otherwise don't really have a lot of purpose. My god, the amount of ghosts on that guy. Holy... One there, one there, one there. Try to try and stay out the way of everything. Everything's in... Ooh, ooh. Very rare poop here. Very rare poop that I've actually... Did he just take two of those dimes? He might well have done just take two of those dimes. Excuse me, fella. But, what I was just about to say is that poop is extremely rare. It's a Fiend Folio one. Uh, that drops three dimes. I think it's three to five, actually. And I found it on one of my very first Fiendfolio runs, and I've never seen it since. If 
very cool to see it again. The stud. Spawns a stud penny on the ground. Studs are worth one coin and play to players and familiars, but deals contact damage to enemies. The heck? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. Right, let's get in here. Ah, oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. I meant to use this. That damn, we're actually able to fire a considerable amount of tears with this current setup. Way more than you should be able to with this character. Grab that. We got a morbid heart here. I'll take that. And I think I'm going to take both of these. Yes, all black hearts. Let's go. Right, carry on down. So far, so damn good. I'm having a lot of fun. And the Punish thumbnail looks awesome too. Like, that's that's definitely also a part of why I'm enjoying this character. I, I When I ever get, ever I get a new thumbnail going, I always can't wait for you guys to see them and see what your comments say about them, because, I don't know, they're always really... I find them really cool. I really like my thumbnails a lot. E even though I'm not the one that draws the, the, uh, the characters, I still really, really like them. So I just want to see, what's the point in using Liberation in an empty room? It broke a rock there, but it didn't seem to do much else. We got some poison shots going on here. What's that from? I don't know, but I, I kind of like it. Got the crits in there as well. I don't know if our ghosts can crit. But I, I think so, because I think they can adopt to your effects. I think it is plausible that they can crit. That'd be pretty cool if they can. Right, grab you. I'm losing all my cracks here. I kind of want to get rid of my um, my clotties. I feel like they're um, they're a bit cheesy. They're allowing me to do things as this character I should not be able to do. Okay, there's one dead. Is that both of them dead? Yeah, that's both of them dead now. Okay, I can feel a little bit better about myself now. Because I, I just felt like that was cheesy. Also, we got a lot out of this room. I mean, I can still shoot with the Herming dudes, but... Holy hell. There's a lot of ghosty spam going on right now. Quite a lot of ghosty spam, and I love it. I'm all for it. Good, good. Okay, we have a lot of consumables to play around with now as well, which is always lovely. Oh. I, I used it in this room thinking, yeah, it'll just turn all the segments to keeps. No, 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 this is a boss. Don't work like that. Oh, also, something just interesting that I just thought about to talk about um, is my girlfriend uh, works n near us and uh, near where we live. And near where we live is actually, like, the hub for um, for the BBC and the I ITV and a few other places like that. Um, so she does a lot of filming because she's a camera operator. She does a lot of filming and stuff. Um... Let me try and spin this down, maybe. Oh, it doesn't even spin down. It's anything good. Okay. Um. Yeah, she does a lot of filming and stuff. And recently, I can't remember the name. Is it Steamforged? Is the company I think it's called? And they make like board games and like and like Warhammer and figurines and stuff like that. And they've been doing a lot of filming for them recently and a lot of much of their promo stuff. And she's actually getting to um like make videos like actual promotional videos for um, the new Elden Ring board game that's coming out soon, um, which I thought was really, really cool. But even cooler than that, the people that she's recording play it are Yogscast. She's um, she's she's working with uh, with the Yogscast, which for those of you that don't know, I'm, I'm imagining a lot of you already will, but for those of you that don't know, they are some old school YouTubers. They're still doing it to this day, of course, uh, but they, they have been on YouTube for probably like 15 years at this point um 
pretty much since like the early days of gaming on YouTube and um, they've been doing it and they used to do a bunch of Minecraft and stuff like that and I remember watching them a lot when I was younger and um, so it was super super interesting and super cool to see um, to hear that she was working with them. She sent me a few pictures I was like oh my god I remember these people. It was weird. Really weird but really interesting. Like she's worked with some fairly high profile people before but I've never really sort of like I wouldn't say I haven't I haven't cared but I mean I've never really been like oh well, that person's really famous sort of thing but this time I was like oh my god I know those people <laughs> I've watched them on YouTube he's done like um interviews with like Christopher Eccleston and stuff like that the um the guy that played Doctor Who before David Tennant David Tennant and a few other people as well uh quite a lot of them are like sports people so I I just don't know who they are I'm not into sports whatsoever which is why for quite a few famous people, actually. Pretty cool. She's very, very good at what she does. <laughs> I would have loved to have flushed in this room. This is a pain in the ass room, this is. Yeah, just, just take the damage that you take. Extra soul heart there, that's lovely. Okay. Boss time. It's the adversary. No brimstone for me, thank you. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep swapping over and then not actually using my, um... Not actually using Liberation. Yeah, Elder Ring's a game I definitely want to get back to. I've taken a pretty significant break from it. And not for any reason in particular, to be honest. Just other stuff came up and it's like... Playing through Elden Ring's a pretty big commitment, and I felt like I was getting to the point where I really wanted to play it, but I wasn't playing it much because of how much I wanted to play it. Like, I wanted to play it so much that I wanted to have, like, a solid five or six hours in a day to be able to, like, sit down and play it for ages. And because I rarely have that time, I was very rarely booting the game up. It's, it's a weird, it's a weird thing to have. I kind of spoke about it before on the channel, but I would like to get back to it. It's definitely a game I want to finish. Dude, with your brimstone, calm down. I can't that so much. Not bad, not bad. Right, keep going down. Yeah, I'm gonna say, like, it's a game that I... I genuinely think it's one of my favourite games. Um... Second. I genuinely think that Elden Ring is one of my favourite games I've ever played. Like, I, I absolutely love what I've played of it so far. So, it, it is kind of weird that I've just taken such a huge break from it. Like, it's literally been about three months since I last played it. Um, But, it's just such a big commitment and I will get back to it. I will 100% finish it at some point. I'm about... For, based on my hours, I've got about 50 hours in it. If I'm, if I'm going for like 100% completion, which I probably am, that means I'm about one-fourth of the way through the game. In terms of the story, I'm about... I'm about 40% of the way through, I think. Actually, may, maybe not even that. Maybe like maybe like 30, 35. I just did the, the Rail Lucaria Academy um, and then moved into the next area that comes after that. For anyone that plays or knows Elden Ring. But goddamn. Like, I've never been... I've never been someone that's been interested in Souls likes, and I'm kind of annoyed at myself for never giving them a proper go. I've always been like, eh, I like hard games, but they're too hard. Um, or like the, the combat style doesn't really appeal to me. And I I, I really wish I'd have given them a go earlier, because like obviously after everyone raved about Elden Ring, I was just like, fine, I'll just try it. I know it's like £50 to buy, but fuck it. I'm just gonna give it a go. And at first I got my ass kicked, and I was like, nah, this isn't the game for me. And then I took like a week off playing it after getting my ass slammed. I was like, nah, I bought this game. Let's try and give it a proper chance. Let's look up a few YouTube tutorials on how to how to begin. And I just realized I was doing everything wrong. And once I realized some of the stupid mistakes I was making, some of the idiotic plays I was doing and stuff, um, it really turned the whole game around for me. And I started to enjoy it a lot, lot more. I um, don't really care about that. I very much like that. How come that's only 10 cents? I probably shouldn't have bought that now, but I want to re-roll through stuff. Uh, plus one golden heart shop price is reduced by one for the current floor uh, for each item purchased. 
take BFF as well. Good, good. Good, good. Definitely a flushable room right there. Oh, it didn't flush everything. I forgot there's some rooms that have double spawns. How dare you, you dastardly fellas. I'm sure you do the boss now. Oh, bollocks. It's the wrong floor. Whoopsie. Missed out on an item. And a few other things on top of that. I didn't realize it was this floor already. Right, let's use our thingy. Oh, okay. Apparently the wisp damage annihilated her. I will take that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Sanguine Bond could be pretty good. And also it does actually spawn them straight away now. And then spin down. Nah. Okay, so I think... I think I have a pretty good method of, of, of playing this here. So, because I've got this little penny heart here. I've got one penny. <gasps> Wait. It doesn't take from the penny heart. No. I thought it would. I thought I'd be able to cheese the hell out of it. Anyways, let's go. Because I just spent a lot of health on that. That was a mistake. I thought I could... I thought I could play that in a, in a cheeky little way there. But... I have not been so successful with my cheek. We got Gemini again. Yeah, this floor is where it gets quite hard to see the cracks on the floor. Cracks are on the floor and it won't go away. That is definitely a flush room, 100%. Really, I should be using this whenever I get the opportunity because it saves me a it saves me a hit if I get hit. Just the animation's a bit slow, so it can it can be a bit tedious to do in every single room. But if I get the opportunity, really, I should be going for it. Nice. Golden bombs could be pretty good. In fact, especially with um, ghost bombs, I'll certainly take. Yeah, actually, this, this is going to be really good, this floor. Go, oh, my ghosty friends. Hey, that's kind of nice, actually. Okay. Just stack up as many ghosts as we possibly can. And pop this. The ghosts will save me. <laughs> the absolute swarm. Just take some HP. Still haven't found a good use for our spin down here. I'm kind of holding on to it. Still holding on to it just in case. We do not have golden bombs anymore this floor. Oh, that was, that was close. That guy jumped at me and I was like, no, 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 I'm going to commit, I'm going to commit. Wasn't a good idea. You're going down, sir. Good, good. I've just got to assess the room to see if it's worth, um... See if it's worth using my, uh... Liberation in. Some of these rooms get a bit crazy. While we've got the Penny Heart available especially, I'm not that worried. This is an annoying ash room here, but it's not that hard. Because the um, enemies are easy to stay away from. Just, the problem is, it's not targeting these fellas at all. I don't know why. What, what's going on? Why, why aren't these guys being targeted at all? I don't know what's going on with these enemies, but for some reason, uh, the ghosts are not targeting them correctly, so... Don't like them. Now, this is a scary enemy. 
Not too bad, though. I mean, I say that as I get hit. Can I get a single penny, please? Rooms like that, they're just an insta-flush. I don't give a damn what was in the room. The room is big, therefore the room is flushed. Oh, you've left a bunch of mini fellas around. I was not expecting that. I love the little mini dudes. We've got a shop disc here. We might as well pop it. we got uh, Bathright again. Broken Murdom could also be kind of nice. Ooh, okay, okay. Slight, slightly tricky room here. As long as the ghosts aim for the right enemies, it's not all that bad. But sometimes they just refuse to. Sometimes they do not go in the direction you want them to at all. God taken care of. I'm just going to play it kind of slow and cautiously. Especially when you don't have like, any crazy stats or anything. Which we kind of don't right now. Definitely similarly to last episode where we're facing this problem. Okay, these guys don't flush. Good to know. Um, we're facing this problem of, um, unfortunately, okay, these are actually, okay, no, again, they're not aiming for anything. Oh, no, that time they, they went for that guy. I'm just going to have to bomb my way out of here, though, because this takes way too long. And perfect. Love it when that happens. You bomb your way out, and you're like, mm, wrong way. There was a 50-50 chance I was going to be right. Okay. Again, slightly tricky one here. Oh, beautiful. That was very close. Very close indeed. Oh, damn. That's, that's some big explosions there. I think Gusty Blood is really the one thing that's keeping us going. So rooms that don't have enemies for us to kill are really proving to be quite problematic. Let's pop this because this looks like kind of a hard room here. And as we get to our cracks and have them spawn a bit quicker, it's going to be very, very nice. Right, hopefully we pick the right way. God damn it. And it's another one of these enemies. Bollocks. Okay, my bomb did a good job. We've got a Harlot Heart over here, I think. I don't know if we can even pick it up. I'm just trying. Ah, bugger, we can't. This guy's a multi-stage enemy, which they're kind of problematic for us. Although, when that happens, not so much. Oh, it's so scary, but I love it. Oh, we got one of these hearts. Okay. That was one of the glitched hearts. Wasn't expecting that, but honestly, I'll definitely take a rotten heart right now. That could be quite useful for us. Liberation is definitely going to be used in this room once we can afford to use it. This room is pretty tricky for us. Actually, no, no, no. I thought I thought it was going to be one that was really necessary, but we actually managed to power through. There's only a spider left now. I wonder what having Herming does with this, considering we always have we already have Herming. I wonder if there's any pre-programmed effect for that. All my motherfuckers hate these enemies. That's one of them dead. That should get him. Yeah, there you go. Right, boss time. Now, this is a fairly hard boss for us. Because normally this is a boss where we do not have to move around much at all. And now we're having to exclusively move around. So, I have a feeling that's going to cause some, uh, some trouble for us. Keep doing our best. I really should have saved more bombs for this fight in hindsight. Not a good idea to have no bombs left over for this. Although, her spawning enemies is not a bad thing at all. That means more cracks on the floor. More speed as well. If I haven't said it yet already, tears directly relates to cram out of cracks you can have. We can have up to five at the moment. 
The music is awesome in this fight. I've never like let it play this long. Okay, this isn't too bad at all. We're getting through it pretty quick. You can also see as well that the, the ghosts do destroy tears as they hit, which is pretty important. That was not a good hit for me at all. Oh, that, neither was that. That was really bad. That should be it, though. Ooh, certainly a tricky one. Certainly a tricky one. <sighs> what we got here? Damage, uh, 1.5 times the enemies of the same variant. Split damage equally. Pretty good, but not worth the health right now. Right. Little bit tricky on this. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually make it through this alive. Our health is not good. Uh, we do still have the flusher, which is definitely great. But we really could do with more tier stats. Also, my ghosts do not know what's going on with these enemies. They are constantly striking the wrong guy, so I'm going to have to flush. I didn't realise that they couldn't recognise... Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be rough. <laughs> Fate is pretty decent here. Like I said, we need things that give us stats, though, really. Have I grown up? Bad trip, are you kidding me? Bad trip, are you kidding me? Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting- I almost walked over you then, so I was like, oh, you're gonna be tiny. No, no, no. Not this fella. This guy, Red Conquest, it's kind of tricky. Also, with all this blood on the floor, I have absolutely no idea what to crack and what isn't. Very hard to tell. Okay, your steed has been taken care of. That was tricky. I have a feeling we are going to die. Doesn't do much for us. That was not what I expected. Fortunately, they're not very good for us. I want to keep my spin down in case I get the opportunity to use it. Right. I think using liberation is going to be of the utmost importance here. Of course, I didn't manage to get to use it in that room because I'm a fool. Oh, I need that penny. That penny will refill our coin heart. And that is something we desperately, desperately need to be doing. Those rocks don't drop anything for some reason anymore. That's not correct. Not how that's meant to go. Come on, liberation. Charge up, please. There you go. We needed that so bad. Need the ability to zoom around the rooms. What's left? Yeah, just you, big boy. Okay. Got another spare penny there. Please keep that in mind. It's something that we very much need. Okay, this enemy. Yeah, I just want to say this enemy's bad for us. It can lock us in place. Luckily, it didn't live too long after that, but locking us in place is really bad because we can't actually get to our main source of damage. It's really fun playing this, uh, this character with Fiend Folio, actually. It's a good combination. Some enemies play really differently when it comes to this, uh, this setup. Magician doesn't do much for us here. Okay, we have found the boss, lovely. Let's use Liberation again here, just in case. I'm not quite sure what these enemies at the bottom of the room are doing, but it doesn't look like I have to fight them, which is rather nice. Okay, so there isn't going to be many adds for us to kill here unless he spawns a bunch, which is... Definitely going to hinder our ability slightly. Again, this is another fight where moving around the room a lot is not really what you're meant to do. So it makes the fight significantly harder. I think had we gotten a good amount of damage upgrades and tears upgrades and stuff, it would have been a lot better. But unfortunately, we didn't. Um, it's like I said, though, unfortunately, it seems that the mods that we... The, the collections of mods that we have on 
really don't do a great job. I mean, and this isn't the modder's fault because it's because it's mainly because we have so many different mods on at once. They really do, don't do a good job of combining to actually create a balanced item flow. Because we're having a lot of situations where we can't physically find damage or tears. Um, we're only finding them in, in drips and drabs. Whereas in the normal runs, you would have a lot more available to you. It definitely creates a, an awkward scenario, I will say. This morbid heart can hopefully keep us going here. We're about to get him into second phase. There you go. Second phase is, I think, where things get quite hard, though. Because we have to move around quite a lot. And yeah, he can he can kind of camp our... Uh, our cracks. Ow. Yeah, I've lost the morbid heart now. I'm a one hit away from death. Certainly been tricky. Certainly been very, very tricky. There. One more light beam carousel. Maybe two more. I don't know where the other crack is. It's here. Found it. Okay. That was tricky. That was really tricky. But we got there in the end. We'll see if any of these items here save us. Otherwise, I think we're going to perish. Right. We got... Pierce Tears. Um, oh, not great. Not great. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take that. The rest of these, though, I think we can spin down and see what we get. <laughs> transform around a monster into a harmless pig has a chance. Proportional to the number of enemies to transform you. If you get transformed, then all stats down and bell breaks until next room. Oh, lovely. That sounds very nice. Monstrance, not great for us. Okay, no, no health to speak of, sadly. All of you turn into poop, please. I could ghost bomb these. Why not? Give us some extra bombs. The tying our damage to speed thing, I think, could be pretty good, actually. Because we're able to um, get a, quite a lot of extra damage just by moving around the room. Now, I do have to say that rooms like this scare the hell out of me, where enemies are popping up randomly. If we don't get some health soon, I think things are going to be real bad for us. We just need pennies. Pennies is all we need. No, don't stick me. I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Okay. That's good. That gave us a soul heart. Right, we play the hell out of one of these. Hope for the best. Please, no cards. I don't need cards. Come on, one soul heart. One. Please. You bastard. Hey, there you go. There's one. Spawns a trap door. That doesn't do anything for us, I don't think. Now let's bomb both of these now for a penny. There's the pennies. Okay. So we take that one, and then we just leave the rest of them on the floor. Oh, that did work. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Completely useless crawl space there. Lovely. Right, leave those pennies on the floor. They are they are cannon fodder for later. I also should definitely pick up the red HP that's over here. I just completely ignored. Right, also... Maybe the tower card is worth it. I also accidentally picked up a penny there. Whoopsie daisy. Because I think that'll use ghost bombs, right, with the tower card? I can't remember if it does or not. Okay. Don't you dare fire a purple fire, uh, fire at me. Give me a soul heart, you fool. Matriarch is not a great one for us. But the explosion should mean that everything dies pretty damn quick. 
the AoE. We've got to keep moving as much as possible, because that's going to make sure that we um, keep our damage up. As you can see, Big Fat Bastard's just sat on top of all of my, uh, all of my useful tools, my cracks. That was a dumb move, but it's okay, it was only the penny. Only the penny that perished. Okay. Hey, there, there, there was a crit right there, look. Right, now we can go back this way. Pick up another penny. We've got two left. Hopefully be able to flush that big L-shaped room, but if it's got a boss in it, it ain't gonna matter. More pennies, good. Now that's a good flush room. That is what I'm talking about. In fact, there's so many enemies in this room that I think it's well worth us doing this for some pennies. Although I suppose I can come back for those at any point. I don't have to do that now. I also should be trying to use Monstrance a little more. It's not insanely powerful, but it's got a pretty big radius and we can probably use it relatively safely. Unfortunately, these enemies are unrecognized again. I kind of forgot about that. That's very, very good. All that stuff until we get hit. Quickly go back here and grab that penny. The penny heart trinket is saving our life right now. Now, this is a problematic room, because finding the cracks is quite the puzzle, actually. Ow. Very bad hit. Didn't lose our all-stats up, though. That penny didn't count. I genuinely don't know where our cracks are most of the time here. They're somewhere. They're certainly somewhere, but... Hell if I know. Oh, God damn it! that was a very bad hit. We lost all our stats. Haunted Rose is very thematic item for this character, actually. Should have used my liberation thing at some point there. Good. More crits, good, good. I should go back and get a penny real quick here. I don't know why I'm wandering around without that. That is our holy mantle. That is our safety. A knight in shining armor. All oh, the poop disappeared. Okay, I'm an idiot. I should have, I should have destroyed them all. Forgot they all disappear with this, uh, this space bar item. Looks like we're on the right way to the boss though here, which is always good. Don't know what's going on with that guy, but. He's going to perish pretty soon. Oh, beautiful. Oh, God, there's more of these guys. Hell. I was not expecting the, the worm fellas. Good, good. And hopefully yet another room that we can flush. Indeed it is. Beautiful. And here's the boss. Right. Moment of truth, people. Moment of truth. Hope these spawn ghosts. Indeed they do. Good, good. Exactly why I used that. They just bomb like crazy. Bomb like crazy. Wow. Okay, that was a good win. That was a very good win. A hard-fought one at that. I hope you guys did enjoy that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.